<laughs> there we are, we're live. Excellent. Okay, so, hey everybody. I'm April Sunshine and I'm here with Carolyn Phillips of Alchemy Pops. There's a reminder on my phone. So I'm gonna, we're they, on time. Yeah, we are totally on time right now. <laughs> Um, and Alchemy Pops is delicious, delicious popsicles. And I'm with the Plaid Girls, and we're going to talk today about startups. And so, Carolyn, tell us a little bit about um, Alchemy Pops and how you got started. Sure, okay. Well, thanks for having me, first of all. I'm excited to talk about Alchemy Pops always. Yes. So basically, I have a background in business and sustainable food systems, and it just sort of happened naturally. I wanted to throw a party, I wanted to make popsicles for all my friends, and it just started a snowball of playing with flavors, realizing that I wanted to start a business, and deciding to go on the adventure of doing that. That's amazing. So how about how long ago did you come up with the concept of starting the business? Yeah, so late last summer, so almost a year ago, I threw this party that I mentioned and everyone had a great time. They were saying they were really great. And I was like, wow, maybe I'm on to something. Yeah. And it just kind of took on a life of its own after that. I got a lot of positive feedback, decided, well, maybe I'll look into this. I did some research and decided there's a really positive community of business owners in Fort Worth that have been so open and giving with resources and decided, all right, this could be a really fun ride. Let's see it through. So oh that's my the idea. gosh, I love it. And so a year ago, about a year ago, and now here we are, we're sitting in Pearl Snap Kolaches and you have your pops stocked here. Yes, they're one of our retail partners, which is awesome. Wow. It's kind of crazy to go from an idea to seeing your product sold in a store. Yes. And I tell people it's my dream job because I dreamed it up. And <laughs> I just created something and it's a really, really good feeling to be able to create something and then share that with other people that yes. have created their own things. And so it's a really special, special deal. And we also retail in Arlington at Farm to Fork Foods, which is great if you have not tried it. And we're growing more retail locations by the month. Amazing. So I, I want to know what flavors are in your, um, in here Oh, today. in the cooler. Okay. Yeah, so cool. we have some amazing flavors and we're about to transition into our fall flavors. So these are kind of peak season okay. summer flavors. Okay. Watermelon basil, mm. roasted peaches and honey, peach and jalapeno, cantaloupe and mint. Mm. And I also do a cold brew coffee and cream, which is so yummy. It's locally roasted by Cup of Craft coffee company and it's amazing and we use all local ingredients sourced from Texas and so it's all about creating these intriguing flavors but also cultivating a sense of community by sourcing directly from local yes. farmers making sure it's sustainable making sure that we partner with other local businesses to make it more meaningful uh, amazing so I think I want to have one while we talk about Absolutely. your Shiro so so what let's is, see what, what I think you have? I'm gonna have to have one of these watermelons it's a great choice. Uh, it's a great watermelon, choice. Watermelon basil. Yeah. Um, choices. So, um, segment two yeah. today, we at Plaid for Women love, of course, women. And we always want to hear about what people, who people's sheroes are. Sheroes are female heroes. And so, um, do you have a picture, I believe, on your I phone do. of your shero that you can tell us about? Yeah, okay, so my Shiro I wanted to highlight today. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. It almost got away. <laughs> Sorry. Um, my Shiro today is Brene Brown. And Brene Brown, so let's see if we can yeah, zoom in. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and go zoom off. in! There's Brene. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Yeah, she's so cute. If you can't read what she has written, it says Courage, I Believe. And Brene Brown really came onto the scene. She's a, she's a PhD in social work. She's an incredibly giving powerful woman and she is a research professor at um, in Houston at their University of Houston's graduate school for social work and so she does work in vulnerability yes. and it's really incredible in 2010 she gave a TED talk which I'm a total nerd love watching TED talks Me too. and she gave a TED talk called the power of vulnerability and it was so incredible it's mm. one of the top five viewed TED Talks oh ever. Oh my God. So she just shared about this balance between grit and grace, 
the way that you can be courageous, that the kind of source of courage is being able to tell your story with your mm -hmm. whole heart, mm -hmm. and really, you know, finding out what are the qualities of people that go forward and take on life with mm -hmm. optimism and courage and vulnerability, and really seek out connection. And that's what I try to do in my business. I really want people to be connected to our local yes. farmers. I want them to be connected to each other in meaningful and tasty ways. I love that. And that's what I think Brene Brown really highlights is that you can be vulnerable, you can risk it all, and that's a very powerful thing to do. It's yes. not a weakness to be vulnerable. I love that. And she's not local, correct? She's not local. Where she's she? actually from San Antonio, mm -hmm. and she lives in Houston. Very cool. But and fellow you, Texan. You've seen her? Uh, yeah, so I've only seen her through her TED Talks, mm -hmm. and I she just did a recent podcast that I fell in love with because she's also coming out with a new book. So she's written two New York Times yes. bestsellers. One is called The Gifts of Imperfection. Mm -hmm. So really expressing that we are enough. Mm -hmm. We are worthy of belonging and connection. And she also has another one about um, just going after what you want. You know, the, the, the power of daring greatly. You might as well go, go big. For it. Yeah, yeah, just go for it. Mm -hmm. So her newest book that's coming out is called Rising Strong. Okay. Because it's all about... Yeah, if you put yourself out there, if you're vulnerable, you take risks and you go for things with your whole heart, you're risking it and you could fail. Mm -hmm. So if you fail, you can rise strong, be vulnerable and use that as a strength to come back better than before and invite people to help you get back to where you want to be. So do you feel like you've had to be vulnerable in starting Alchemy Pops in oh, any way? Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. So I, the guy who started LinkedIn, mm -hmm has a quote of, if you aren't embarrassed a little bit by your product, you're too late. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to have to push your idea out the door yeah. before you're totally comfortable with it. Yeah, totally. So I think that's part of being a business owner, that's part of being a person, is you have to lean into the discomfort sometimes. Mm -hmm. Because you really grow and gain personally when you push your boundaries and when you go for things that do make you a little bit uncomfortable, that's when you can invite really meaningful things into your life. I love that. I love that. So this is delicious. Let me get, <laughs> let you, get you guys a little close up. Oh, and then, you know, she's a good course, close up, right? <laughs> yeah, we got Alchemy Pops um, on there. I mean, the basil, the basil is so good yeah. with the watermelon. Yeah. I had no idea. So there's a saying um, for farmers that what mm -hmm. grows together goes together. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of the philosophy that I like to take with the flavors that we create. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit different than what people are used to. Yeah. But a lot of the times these plants grow together and they taste amazing together. And so that's just something I want to kind of keep that kind of wisdom at the heart of what we do. Oh, well, it's <laughs> it's fabulous. So you're going to have to come to Pearl Snap Kalachis yes. and get you a watermelon basil. It's the end of summer, so yeah. you've got the time is now. The time is now. What fall flavors are coming? Oh, I am so excited! So we are actually I have a wedding that we're doing um, later in the season, and they are having an apple uh, cream and honey pop, okay. which is really good. Apple cream and honey. Mm. Yes, we'll also have a salted caramel apple, ginger pear, mm. pumpkin pie. And I'm definitely going to try to do, I'll always have my cold brew coffee and cream. Of course. But definitely want to try some, maybe a pecan pie, honey mm -hmm. pecan pie. Mm -hmm. I really want to use some of the Texas pecans. Yes. Oh, why would you idea. not? That's a great idea. Yeah. And so um, we're very excited about the fall flavors. I did a vanilla chai mm -hmm. um, last season and it was really, really good. So that's part of the idea behind alchemy too. Alchemy is all about experimenting and finding something that's bigger than what you started with. Yeah. So we experiment with flavors all the time. I love that. Okay, I'm going to put my popsicle over here so we can talk about, this is a an advanced copy of our No Mean Girls workbook. It looks at work. work. Love it. And um, so we're going to talk about our uh, No Mean Girl challenge this week. So it, the quote is, a word of encouragement during a failure, okay, Those word happen. of encouragement yeah. during a failure is worth more than an hour of praise after success. And so I thought this one was perfect because when you're starting a business, you experience both. Yes. A lot. Of Every both. day. 
And uh, yeah. you know, are there some people that have spoken words of encouragement to you in some failures um, yes. that have happened? Absolutely. I mean, that's kind of the thing. Starting a business is like building a plane while you're flying it. And <laughs> yeah. you know, things go that. really well and things that. go really wrong sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. And so the people that can let you know, hey, that is okay. That's gonna happen. And remind you in those moments of failure that you've accomplished a lot That's already. Right. So for instance, because you're snacking on the watermelon basil, mm -hmm. I'll bring up how great it was. You actually had some great words of encouragement for me. I was working in our commercial kitchen. Yes. We had a freezer malfunction mm -hmm. and hundreds of my watermelon basil pops melted on the spot. It was very sad. That was very, very sad. And you know what? I texted my friend April and I took a picture of my melting pops and I said, this is what my heartbreak looks like. <laughs> and it and was just, yes, and you mm -hmm. were there for me. Mm -hmm. And it was just a string of text messages about how to turn lemons into lemonade yeah. and really just turning that situation, finding the silver lining. Aww. And what ended up happening is we ended up before everything melted, right. we bashed it all together, came up with a new pop, watermelon grapefruit mint, and we're able to save everything. Oh my gosh. So it was a little bit more work, but good things come from, oh. you know, everything can be an opportunity. That's and right. so those little words of encouragement can turn it around. And yes. the difference between a crisis and an adventure is your attitude. And that's what it takes. Oh my gosh, girl, you're just gonna make me cry right now <laughs> on the air. I didn't mean for you to tell the story about me. <laughs> I, well, I, that was not planned, but I think, you know, it just goes to show you don't know where those bits of encouragement that's will come right. from. That's right. And I think we had a really big success. We successfully funded Alchemy Pops yes. on a Kickstarter campaign, yes. which was so great. Thank you to my backers. Yay, backers! So, so great. And so that was a really big accomplishment, but it's also really hard because you're putting yourself out there. Yes. We talked about that's a very vulnerable state. I may or may not get funded. Right. Some people fund you that you had no idea would come through for mm -hmm. you. And then some people who you never thought wouldn't fund you don't. Right. Because everyone has their own stuff going on and yes. you don't know exactly what that is. That's right. And everyone has a different focus at the time. So yeah. even if someone isn't there for you when you realize it, that's okay. And you can kind of just it takes so much more energy to hang on to that than yes. to let it go. Yes. So even if you view it as a failure by one of your friends, you know, be open and be vulnerable with them that you can look past that as yes. this isn't all bad. I value your friendship more than this one moment. Yes. I love, thank you for all these words of encouragement. Yeah. I want to show a close up of your awesome logo. Oh, yay. And this yes. was hand drawn by Jen here at Pearl Snap Kalachi. Oh. So thank you to her. Oh. She drew our logo. having you on our Plaid Girls episode today. Absolutely, and as a thank you for oh. having me, I wanted to share with you one of our Alchemy Pops oh. insulated tote bags so you can carry around all of your popsicles, groceries, whatever you need. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you guys. Insulated <laughs> and everything is happening. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Thanks. Guys, we are all about women at plaidforwomen.com and we want you to blog with us, we want you to connect with us, we want you to connect on, through social media with us, and we, we really just want you to be heard. And, and that's what we're offering to women. We're offering different ways to achieve your goals, to get connected, and to be heard. And so we hope that you tune in every week, every Wednesday at 12.30 to Periscope, and we have somebody new on the program each week. And we thank again, Carolyn, for being on this week, and we hope that you have the opportunity to be heard this week. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.